of the Pilipinas Super League President's Cup 2024 continue. We are coming to you live from the Paco Arena in Manila. A pleasant evening to everyone. We are watching the Davao Occidental Tigers taking on the Alpha Omega Kings. Tigers always competitive and the AO Kings an unknown factor in the PSL. Let's see how they fare in their opening games tonight. Good evening, everyone. Bill Velasco here with the uh, pleasure of working with an old friend and partner, the professor, Randy Sakdalan. Good evening, Prof. Well, good evening, Bill. It's nice to be back uh, working a game with you again. It's always been a pleasure and an honor to be working with you, especially now that we're starting a very new league in the PSL. All right. Let's uh, talk about the tournament format. 18 teams. It's going to be a long-drawn tournament but first it's going to be just a single round robin for all teams so each game is going to be going to be counted in the standings and each game is going to be difficult to prepare for mm -hmm. because you're always playing somebody different and you're always playing in a different place that's a true build because you never had a chance to prepare for a team because it's the first time you're playing them, unless of course they have some experience playing uh, their counterparts in in other leagues but here the single round robin so far we have 18 teams the top 16 advance into the next round but the top eight will have the twice to beat advantage so it's very important for them to be in the top eight because um one game you could be out and then the elite eight the higher seed again will have the twice to beat advantage and finally in the semifinals in the final that's only the time that we're going to have the home in away format uh for the teams involved in the last uh in the semifinals to the final but they will be a best of three so what's very interesting here to, to note is that each team will have a different uh, character mm -hmm. coming into the uh, their games and you know for example we talk about Davo Occidental. This is a team that, I, as I said earlier, very competitive, always have a uh, set of faces that will be strong and very well-rounded. Yes, and uh, looking at the lineup, as you take a look at the bench of uh, the AO Kings, the Alpha Omega Kings, you know, it's going to be very difficult. Well, not really difficult. Probably more players on the Davo Occidental uh, Tigers who have had more exposure on the national television and national tournaments. Uh, we have some very interesting names also in the lineup of the Alpha Omega Kings. Yes, we're going to take a, a look at them in just a little bit. And uh, what's very important for us to, to also talk about is not just their experience and what they've been through, but also what to expect. And we are going to... Uh, turn you over to the lady who's been working extra hard today and uh, completing our lineup in just a little bit. But now, let's call out the starters. For the Davao Occidental Tigers, Kogolai. Small forward, number 32, Kerry Dabo. Small forward, number 22, Bam Bam Gabalinda. Defender, number 29, J.R. Ocheco. Point guard, number 23, Ken Mato. And shooting guard, number 
For the Kings is Michael Kagawa. Your referee in charge of the main game are crew chief Jerry Gabriel, first umpire Gary Bulawan, second umpire Dennis Dizon, and alternate is Warren Kaes. This game is under the supervision and regulation of the game. You have the starters on your screen: Manzo Custodio, Nabo Gamalinda, and Ongteko. Very deeply experienced five for Davao. Dava Occidental, that is Salo, Sanet, Gabriel, Duligon, and Celad. A couple of familiar names there also, Prof. Randy. Oh, yes, uh, especially for the Alpha Omega Kings. We know Joshua Saret. He's once scored 89 points in a high school game for yes. playing for JRU. In the juniors and uh, yes. played one year of college and then decided uh, things were better off in the pro ranks. Nabong, one of the uh, throwback players in this league, is. Uh, what we used to call an enforcer. They try to take it into the low post. Well, that is a friendly expedition inside, trying to test the, the big men of uh, the AO Kings, or Alpha Omega Kings. Long, long bomb for Whoa. three. Well, introducing himself at a very early. Adrian Celada, sporting number 10. But it's going to be a difficult matchup, Bill, because he extends the defense. He yes. may look like a power forward, but he's got a sweet uh, stroke from beyond. A.O. Kings up suddenly by three. The, uh, the Kings, for your reference, are in the dark uniforms. And the Tigers in the light-colored uniforms. Oh. Uh, Nabong experimenting from three-point range. Yep, but, uh, that's not surprising. We're not used to seeing him take that shot from the outside. So tit for tat so far in this uh, ball game very early on. So the Kings on their side of the floor. There's a delayed give and go. Pass was off the mark. Up, uh, throwing the ball over. Uh, this is the big time shot from Kelly Nabung Bill. It's a full foot and a half away from the three point arc. We are, for the most part, following FIBA rules. Five fouls, and you're out of the game. Despite the slight push. You know, that, that's going to be a tough matchup for Joseph Sare, uh, Joshua Sare. You know. yes. We know Bon Bon Custodio. He's, oh, yes. a, he's a good player, one and one If help doesn't come early on, he's not going to give up that ball and go to the hoop as we have seen in that last play. Hasang hasayan sa liga, kahit saan. You were talking about Joshua Sare. He's put on a pound or two, but then again, haven't we all? <laughs> that's, uh, that's very true, Bill. But... What doesn't go away is the shooting and oh, the scoring yeah. for Saret. And the smarts. Yes. That's a moving pick set by Nabong. Stuck his hip out a little too much. Mm -hmm. First foul for either squad. Resets the clock. We are deadlocked at 5. 7.54 to go. It's a very wry smile on his face. It's a warning, <laughs> Randy. It's like, yeah. you ain't seen nothing yet. There, there you go. go. He was moving. Ooh. You know, that's a tough pick given by uh, Nabong. Saret. Oh, this pass was intercepted. Two on two fast break. Oh, classic. Classic, That's classic, classic custodio. Woo. You know, he's got that style and that swagger moving to the hole. And then it's like a slow motion build when he, he, he moves up. Look at this play. Saret just unable to locate where the guy is going. And well, using his body to keep distance with the defender. So he gets a bonus charity. And he's looking how confident he's. Teammates are, they don't even bother to line up. <laughs> well, uh, luckily it trickled in. Five points uh, early on for 
Bonbon bon Custodio played for UE. Our score is eight to five. Kings getting it inside. There is a foul. That's going to be on Custodio. Yes. Reaching in. And you know, it's always the dream of a smaller player to block a big man. That's a good uh, pick and roll for them. And then it looks like a clean one, but the referee saw it otherwise. So Gabriel took to the free throw line. John Alviar Gabriel, sporting number six and for the AO Kings. Is it too early to call them AOK? -okay? Uh, it's easier to say the other one is DOT. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So. And again, government agency, big line. Yes. Yeah. Eight to six is our count. Free throw is good. This team is a very patient one. You know, that's, it's really a very deadly backcourt for Davao Occidental, Bill. June Manso, you know, you, you know he's a very heady guy, a guy who who breeds basketball, yes. knocking in his first uh, three-point shot. Pinasabi nga nila, simple lang ang basketball, pinahihirap natin. Mm -hmm. Gaya niyan. Gabriel adding to his total, 11 to 8. Probably, not much of a feeling out process in this game. No. Each team is pretty much able to execute so far. Mm -hmm. Well, the defense has not been that tight store in there. So yes. really looking at their strengths and Custodio again posting up Saret. Yes. That's going to cost Saret his second foul. Yes, and he's going to have to, he may have to be substituted. Let's see. Because there are some, some coaches who will let the player make the adjustment. There are some co uh, coaches who will pull, pull the player out. out because you only get five fouls mm -hmm. in this game. One one making the most out of the situation, connecting on that free throw. You know, that's going to be a difficult choice for the coaching staff of uh, AO Kings because Saret is known to be a scorer and then he's posting up. And now Saret has to move out. So, uh, they're not willing to risk the third foul. And, but yeah. Coming in for the first time. That is a very familiar basketball name. Mm -hmm. Not just on the playing side, but on the referee it's side like, as well. Yes. Meron po tayong mga international referee na yan din po ang apelido. Coming up on the six-minute mark, it's the little men who are trying to post up inside. Turnover. Stodio leading the charge. Kulang ang depensa. That's going to be traveling. Traveling. It is a half-baked mm -hmm. Euro step. <laughs> Hilaw na Euro step yon. Tignan mo. Inangat niya yung bola, pero there you go. huminto eh. Mm -hmm. And the press is on. That has been the trademark of uh, June Manso. Really pressing uh, the ball carrier from the backward. High screen. There's a switch. Somebody is free from three-point range. Oh. Way oh. off the mark. Oh, look at Manso. The Kings have lost their shooting touch. Nabong playing cat and mouse with the defender. There's a foul. Ball rims out. You know, that's experience of June Man. Yes. So, you know, he's not just going to direct plays for you. He's going to create the place for the team and for himself. Archie Salo, 5'11", 5'11", guard for the Alpha Omega Kings. Three fouls now on the Kings, two on the Tigers. Almost, uh, or rather, halfway through our first period. <laughs> and again, um, no white guy on the rebounding play, therefore, after the free throw. This time it was a missed free throw by. Uh, yes, the only Manso. white guy here is the one sitting beside you. <laughs> I can see that clearly, Bill. Nasisi lo ka parin ba? Uh, nice passing inside the paint by the big man. Traveling. Another traveling call. Well, this is the first game for the two teams. So they're kind of filling out, really. Oh, know, yes. What's gonna That's happen. also an underrated adjustment that a lot of teams have to make. He landed. Mm -hmm. See, he, he took off and he landed. So it wasn't a step. And the referees caught it. Good job. 14 8. Well, another player that we have to watch out here is Bam Bam Gamalinda. Yes, Bill. absolutely. Part of uh, the long, long string of championships of San Beda. You know, I, I think they're aware of what, what she can do. Uh, it's not had touches so far, very few yes. uh, here in the first quarter. 
And that's a 14 foul on the Alpha Omega Kings. One more, and they're in the penalty. What's happening to the Kings? They must be struggling simply because of the first substitution when Sarnet went out. Yeah, because it, it really cracked out their, uh, their rotation. They're looking for Sarnet for points, but I think that was a tough match of giving up. Yes. So against Bon Bon Custodio, who's a known scorer, and Custodio's been taking it to him, and here's a typical nabong. Oh, medyo napakarami ng hakbang at nakita ng ating referee. Oh, what Hang you... time move. Gabriel's getting a, a, a touch in almost every po offensive possession. He's of getting the his points in lieu of uh, Saret. Good handoff, just a tad short. Clean up job. You know, th I think that, that's a confidence when you have big guys like Kelly Nabong ma manning the middle. So you, you can take your shots and know that there's a chance for an offensive recovery for the Tigers. That was a memorandum pass to whom it may concern. Bahala na kung sino makatanggap. 16 to 10 is our count. Four and a half minutes left. Not the shot of uh, Gabriel. Nabong, that's what he does best. So the Kings with five team fouls now. We're going to start seeing free throws. Stojo fake the three. Shot clock beginning to wind down. Oh, there was a push off there. Custodio double clutched it. We have a fast break in the making. Now Bong's back home. Smart move, just pull it up. Yep. You don't want to get hurt. <laughs> well, that's really a decision, except that yes. he did compete with the basket. Everything but the basket. Great execution there. Tigers. Oh, we're going to spin by Doligon. But again, Bill, unable to finish. Alam mo, partner, before the game, you were telling me that, you know, medyo matigas yung ring dito sa Paco mm. Arena kasi medyo bago pa to, and you still have to make the adjustment. You know, there's a steel rod that holds the ring in place, mm -hmm. and there's a spring attached to it, and you can make it more flexible. But it's really, really tight. Both teams on some unproductive sequences that we've seen here, Bill. Nangangapapa talaga eh. Oh, that's a good foul there. Yep. Yeah, but there is the penalty. Yes. Uh, that's going to be two free throws. Good foul simply because they didn't have enough bodies on defense. Spade of substitutions now. De Leon coming in for Nabong, who will get a well-deserved rest. 3-24 and 24 to go. First period action. So there's Bon Leon and there's De Leon for, yes. for the Dabo Occidental uh, Tigers. But yung Bon Leon, it's just one word. Mm -hmm. We just have to check if uh, Ron De Leon is the one who played for UST at one time. So you you have a guys of a uh, big uh, lineup for Double Occidental, and we see Kurt Lujera. If I'm not mistaken, he played for De La Salle uh, okay. for his collegiate uh, basketball. That's in the early 2000s. Yes. Um, and, and, and Lujera is uh, it's a big one. Tall guard. Costello comes in for the Tigers. Uh -huh. well, let's see how the second units fare. <laughs> we know all about the starters. 18-10 is our score. The pace has slowed down somewhat. Oh, nice give and go. Oh. But it came and went. Nobody was home for a bit. Turn around. Oh. Catches enough rim to fall in. Soft touch. De Leon making an impact right away. The lead is ballooned down to 10 bill. But you know, we've been seeing this mm -hmm. in the two previous games. One team will get a double digit spread, the other team catches up, and it becomes a thriller. Oh, that's a big answer. Three point shot taken. Suddenly, the lead is down to a single digit. Better ball movement on the part of the Tigers, selling a lot of high screens. There was a bump, it wasn't oh. called. Oh, Fast good. break in the making, let's see what happens. Oh. Good challenge there. Mm -hmm. Now it's wiser to wait for the rest of the cast. Yep. A good decision. They don't have the numbers, there's no... Uh... Oh, another three-point shot! Celada off one foot. 
the uh, Dirk Nowitzki special. Yep, and the uh, wing of an eye, the 10 point advantage is now down to four. That's the nice thing about having experienced players, they don't panic. Oh. Running one hander goes in for Olayon. Now, more players getting in on the scoring. 22 16. Under two minutes to go in the action packed oh. first quarter. Boy. <laughs> it is really heating up. And they're getting a good feel of the ball game so far. The second unit for, for both camps. Better passing on this side of the floor. That was a forced shot. Unusual for Davao in this first quarter. Celada, long three. Yes, oh, he look finds the bottom of the net. And don't look now. The lead is down to one. You know, he's just so confident, uh, Andre and Celada. But the Tigers not bothering yeah. to call a timeout, partner. Yep, they're letting them play. Very confident about uh, how they're going to make the adjustment for the second unit. Look, and, they're, and they're riding it out mm. because it's just a minute to go. Uh, this one's off the mark. And nobody there for the rebound. Those are the things you consider when taking a shot. It's been all Celada so far, and that caused a turnover. Ito, dapat mamasa na. Long three on the way. Nobody there for the rebound again. Chance to take the lead. No, they don't. Final half minute. Three oh, on two situation. Be easy. For easy. Yep. Finally, a basket for the. But credit the pass. From Olayon. Yep, they read the, way, the play well. Lujera was uh, filling the lane for them. This tiger is Olayon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got me there, Bill. <laughs> sure. Just, just like old times. <laughs> Three on one, pass break. Trying to beat the clock. Oh. Almost, but not quite so. A dramatic first quarter <laughs> finds the Tigers leading the Kings 24-21. We'll be back with the second period. This is the PSL. Pero para maging competitive pa rin, ang kuponan na ito ay pinasok sa lineup ng pro players na sina Nabong, Gamalinda, Nohera at De Leon. Para naman sa kuponan ng Alpha Omega Kings, bagong kuponan naman ito sa PSL. Pero matagal na raw magkakasama ang ilan sa mga players nila tulad nila Doligon, Gabriel, Celada at Sarit. Kaya naman kung Team Chemistry... problema sa Alpha Omega Kings. Tignan natin kung ano pa ang may papakita ng mga star players sa ito ngayong laro. Thank you very much, uh, Andrea Veloso, our hard-working and talented courtside reporter. And she's been all over the place tonight. Well, uh, from the crowd to the players, um, to the whatever's going on. You know, first quarter, Bill, four of six from three-point area for the Alpha Omega Kings. And that was their uh, advantage. They were able to claw back from yes. the early 10-point advantage. Put up by a quick starting double Occidental Tigers, of course, led in that quarter by Bon Bon Custodio. And it's showing a lot of heart. Chance to cut this three point lead down even further. Shot is blocked. Now Dava Occidental trying to run it up. Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Life, the complete name of the team. Open tray on the way, in and out. Long rebound being contested. Bon Leon doing his part to chip in. Uh, there is a foul. You know, that hesitation move by Lohera is too much to be handled by a smaller guy. Each team.
team with one quick foul in the first minute of the second quarter. Bill Velasco with Randy Sakdalan bringing you the game live from Paco Arena. Oh! Oh boy! That, that was a, that was a classic... Uh, Nakao! Old school! Nila. Oh, oh. Yung old school, yung nakatalikod yung... Uh, uh, nagbabantay sa inbounder. Oh. Ang binabantayan yung receiver. Mm -hmm. Daming klaseng ganyan. That's a push-off. Should have been yes. an offensive foul, if oh. you ask me. Yeah, but the benefit of the doubt given in favor of uh, Minsan the Kings. Minsan kasi kasabayan ng pag-dribble mm -hmm. eh. Mm -hmm. Eh, mumabay yung balikat. Eh, ang fuck up, eh, nakatalikod si Bon Leon sa kanya. But I think it was Bon Leon who was called for the foul. Normally, if if both players are in proper position, okay. it's who initiates the contact. Mm -hmm. In that case, obviously, uh, it's number seven from uh, Alpha Omega Kings, that Batak. Warlaw James Bata. Wow, he, came, he comes from Bulacan State University. Yes. That's an academic field. Uh, it's got a very reputable brand for Bulacan State University, one of those uh, highly touted academically uh, of the SUCs in the country. Well, you should know, Prof. <laughs> Good passing corner jumper. Hardworking yep. offensive rebound. Yeah, you, by De Leon. Well, Kings would have to be worried about how where De Leon is. You know, if you don't back him out properly, scrap. You know, I, I, I covered this fellow from uh, from college. He's he's not been getting the ball. Uh -huh. He's been getting his own mix. Well, that's usually the the thing for the big fellow. If you don't get involved in the offense, you have to really wait for your chance to get that offensive recovery, and that's what De Leon has been doing for the DOT, or rather the. Double Occidental Tigers. Give them the confidence to take the shot from the outside and I'll take care of the rebound. The lead is restored to four. Each team with two fouls now. Open is Celada off the backboard and away. Almost a travel there. <laughs> Teko coming up with a three-point shot. Oh, Teko with his first points of the game. Early substitution uh, coming for the Kings. Oh, looking disorganized. Yes. Basa ang basa yung pasa. Oh. Ojera just on that league out play. Extending the lead to nine, Bill. Five, five straight points. We have a timeout. 33-24. Can the Kings cut this lead down when we come back. See you on the other side. viewers sa araw na ito, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong suporta sa ating mga senador. Uh, makakaasa po kayo na ang ating mga senador po ay nagkatrabaho para sa ikabubuti ng ating bansa. At kami po sa Senate Spouses Foundation ay lagi nandito para magsuporta rin sa kanila at magbigay to give back to our country. So, may God bless us all. Mabuhay po ang Pilipinas. Ito ang Kongreso, Sunday, 10 a.m. on IBC 13. Super League. The games of the President's Cup 2024 continue on IBC 13. Well, another time it has to be called by the AO Kings because of that five point burst yes. happening in the last minute of this quarter. Oh! Wow. That suddenly makes it a good timeout. Yes. Of the timeout, they got a three point shot. High pick, and the three-point shot is erased. Yep. Sequel did that uh, first three-point shot for the Kings, and o then... Olayon replied with a three-point shot of his own. Ayon, medyo malayo na masyado, partner. Well, they've been tinkering on that three-point shot since it's falling for both teams. That's going to be a foul on, on the, the Leon. 
Only his first, and he's been involved in a lot of action under the basket. Third foul on the Tigers. Only two for the Kings. Six minutes, 55 seconds to go. Second quarter. A lot going on. A lot of the little minutiae of the game. Na malilit na bagay na napapansin natin. But only one uh, shot for the Kings. Oh, ho, ho. making the most out of it for Molayon again. He's got seven points already. Quietly, you know, he's like an assassin for Tama. the uh, for the Tigers. And oh. ayun ang problema. Tinitig nat kasi yung papasahan kaya. Masakita ng bantay, masang pumunta. Masang basa yung passing lane. Mayon dosi na kaya alang ang problema na kapag timeout na kayo. You don't want to burn a second timeout this early. Again, another turnover bill. Natatapik yung pasa. Olayon with his confidence now. Nice no look pass. De Leon dumps it inside. Oh, they're enjoying their game here for the Kings. Or and, rather, Tigers. Bill. And the Kings are going to have more problems as Bam Bam Gamalinda is set to check back into the game. Nice shovel pass inside. Second chance is good. A luck break there for, for the Kings. Batak making that basket. Lohera into the post. Simple pivot move gets a push from behind. Oh, good pass there. The extra pass to Olayon from uh, De Leon. Again, they're able to get to that uh, to the defense, to the heart of the defense of the Kings. And more trouble, Bill. We see Custodio, we have Gamalinda coming back for, for the Tigers. They can't bring in Saret because Saret is two personal fouls. Pahinga muna si De Leon. Mm -hmm. Para sa Tigers. Oh, off the ball foul on Oloyon. Offensive foul. 41 29. 5 and 20 to go. Or rather, it was on Ogtenko <laughs> using, using his arm. That's a clothesline. Mm -hmm. Madalas yan nakikita po sa wrestling. The refs are gonna review the call in case they need to make the penalty a little stiffer. Kasi pwedeng hatulan yun ng unsportsman like no. If you are not going for the ball. There you go. Pero hindi naman tinaas yung braso eh. Nakababa siya, yung braso niya was straight out but certainly it, it prevented and it caused the player to slip by. It's now called a, an unsportsmanlike foul. So what does that mean in our language, partner? Uh, two free throws uh, for Cinco. You know, Cinco played for NU and for LPU. Uh, it's actually two free throws, throws for, for a designated shooter. And uh, plus ball possession. Ball possession. Yes. So it was costly on the part of the oh, Tigers. Mabigat yun. Could be a four-point mm -hmm. swing. Kasi nasa kanila na lahat yung, ano, yung, yung momentum. They've really taken control of the second period. And then here it comes. So it could be a game-changer in favor of the Kings. And you know, uh, you cannot live and die with the outside shot, mm -hmm. which is what the the Kings have been doing. That's what kept them in the game. Pero hindi mo pwedeng palaging asahan yun. Mm -hmm. The very few plays really go into the low post. Well, this one looked like a low post play. Good cut under the basket. Oh! It bounces in plus a foul. You know, uh, Archie Salo was the recipient of that pass. It's quite ironical, Bill. You matag up ng pasa sa ilalim or the smaller guys. Exactly. Well, maybe because the big men normally draw a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. But the movement, you know, we have to appreciate the movement of the smaller fellows anticipating that uh, that handoff. Nabong comes back in for the Tigers. 
So, may binubulong-bulongan na yung kalaban. <laughs> Gusto nyo talking uh, to the coaching staff. Ba- ba- baka naman kaboses niya si Liam Neeson kasi kaya nakakatakot. Ano? <laughs> 41 to 34. I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> Pagka ganun na rin ni Google, para mag- mag-iisip ka, who am I talking to? Stepping closer. A lot of cutting by the baseline for the Kings. Shot clock still a plenty. Goes the other way. There's going to be a nudge from from Nabong. Up and uh, he's really being challenged by Gabriel in that play. The forearm in the back bumped him from behind. At ito po, dalawang uh, free throw. Gabriel is long at 6'6", played for UP, uh, PUP and Letran in the collegiate ranks. Sa kolehiyo kasi, pag ibang liga yung pinasukan mo, hindi ganun kahaba yung residency. <laughs> hindi ba? Pero pag uh, kalaban nung pinanggalingan mo eskulahan, dalawang taon ang hihintayin oh. mo. Ay, ang hirap, ang hirap maglipatan eh. Tama. Uh, lalo na kung sa same league kayo. Yes. May ano, incubation period ka pa. 41 to 36, just a five-point lead now for the Tigers. Oh. Oh, he got clipped on the foot. Mm-hmm. May have stuck, stuck his foot out. Let's see. Tingnan natin kung nilabas yung paa niya. There's a play, Bill. There's a screen by Let's watch this. <laughs> Actually, it's a veteran move by Manso. Medyo bumuka ka nung oh. bandang huli. Kaya yun yung sumabit kay Manso eh. Yung oh. sabi ni Salo na, you know, the, the contact was initiated by that foot stuck out by uh, Manso in the play. Pero ang masakit nun, eh, tatlong free throw ang mm-hmm. ibibigay. Dahil three-point uh, shot ang tira ni Manso. Oh, just as, ano, basketball smarts lang yun on the part Tama. of June Manso. Putakan yan. Mm. And was able to sell the, the deal to the referee. But that's something also that the players would have to manage. Yes. Especially if you're up Oo. against some of those. And we're not saying that there's some named players who will be given the benefit of the doubt. Tama. Tsaka but, ano, yung sinasabi natin ng first quarter partner, yan ang isang kailangan din uh, bagayan ng mga player. Yung tawag ng referee. Mm-hmm. Certainly. Good handles on the ball. Oh, There's somebody, a push. Oh, somebody was taken out of the camera. Ang, ang hirap talaga maging malaki kasi ikaw yung palaging tinutulak. Mm-hmm. Sabi nga ni Wilt Chamberlain, nobody loves Goliath. <laughs> Here is that spin move by Doligon. Somebody's gonna be pushed off. There you go. And uh, just for a good measure, the waving of the arms and uh, penalty situation for both teams. So Gabriel, he has taken more minutes uh, yes. in this ball game since uh, replacing Celada. And with 4:08 to go, Saret is about to mm-hmm. come back into the game. Pero ang tanong jan, partner, lumamig na kaya? Mm-hmm. Dahil lang haba niyang naupo. And you know he's got two fouls. So yes. Better be careful. This will be up against another matchup. Ang tanong jan is kung masisira yung laro niya dahil mm-hmm. magiingat na masyado. Mm-hmm. Nabong bringing up the ball. Setting a huge screen, rattles out. Mm-hmm. Problema niyan, dahil siya nag-screen, hindi siya makaka-rebound. Kings, trying to get some buckets in a hurry. Time starting, winding, starting to wind down. Almost a turnover. Shot clock down to nine. Seven. Five. Three. They fire it. You really wanted that shot. Well, not sira na yung play. Oh, yeah. oh look at Duligon and uh, Nabong play uh, for position. Nagkakabanggaan na po. Uh-huh. Holding foul. Oh, double foul. Oh, it's a double foul. Two players hooking each other. That's going to be Salo and uh, Manso who will be credited with a foul each. And that's unnecessary. Mm. So the two fouls will cancel each other out. Pero paano yun, partner? Possession arrow ba? Oh, Pagkagano'ng possession arrow ang gagamitin nila doon. 
And it favors the Kings. Sabi ng ating referee, masyado kayong close. <laughs> oh, they were they were running side by side. Yes. And uh, in front of the referees. And arm in arm. Mm -hmm. And not in the romantic style. Definitely not, Bill. Still 44-37. Resets the clock for the Kings. The Alpha Omega Kings making their debut. As do the uh, Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life. Oh, uh, Roger and Gamely. Almost a traveling. Okay, you sabi natin eh, yung bangga mo kinabong. Yes. I'm gonna throw you off. He was anticipating a call. Titilapon ka talaga. And now we have an uh, update uh, from Andrea Veloso. Andrea? Bam, bam, Gamalinda! Gamalinda, Gamalinda scoring. 46-37, the lead is now 9. Kailangan mag-ingat dito yung Kings na hindi uh, kumawala na naman ng Tigers. Oh yeah, 228 remaining in the second period. Both teams in the penalty. And... Oh, a timeout to Bill Gold, Bill. The Kings call a ceasefire, 46-37, 2.20 to go before halftime. We'll be back. I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, to be interviewed, of course, and uh, I hope you keep on watching like yung manood ng ito ang kongreso. Para malaman ninyo kung ano po nangyayari sa ating bansa at para malaman ninyo kung ano ginagawa ng inyong mga congressman at ng mga senador. Maraming salamat. Ito ang kongreso, Sunday, 10 a.m. on IBC 13. One game at a time. This is what Coach Manu of Davao Occidental Tigers said for his team this PSL season. Dahil kahit marami na raw na dagdag na pro players dito sa kopunan niya, pagsubok pa rin ito dahil nga iba-iba ang sistema ang nakagisna ng mga pro players na ito. Kaya naman para kay Bonbon bon Custodio na dati ng player ng Davao, their goal for this game is to just really work on their team chemistry and gelling. Handa rin siya ituro sa kanyang mga bagong teammates ang kultura ng Davao team. And that is of course their winning attitude in every game. Maiaangat kaya ulit na mga veteranong players na ito ang Davao ngayong season. Bill and Randy. Maraming salamat, Andrea. Parang ayaw tayo kausapin ni Andrea. No? Maraming ka nang itatanong kasi. Sabihin mo muna. Kelly Nabong. That's the second three-point uh, yes. shot, Bill. 49-37. So, it was a good timeout for Davao. Mm -hmm. They've stretched their lead under two minutes to go. Paul in the act of shooting. So we'll have a bonus uh, free throw. Well, Dolly Gold has been trying his best to put some numbers for the Kings. Well, that was just an open D taken advantage by Dolly Gold. He was in low south. He was raising the ball. He was last in the big band. He knew he was going to miss it. He Bill. knew. He knew. And the Kings are surprised uh, they got possession. Saret back on the floor, by the way. Here we go again. And not this time for Doligon. Parang iniba lang yung angulo ng atake, ano? Uh, Nabong was there to make things a little bit blurry for Doligon. Lead is still 10 for the Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life. Shot clock starting to wind down. No play developing so far. Corner jumper oh. is good. So this is probably the most potent five for Davao Occidental True. Tigers. You know, with Lujera completing the uh, starting lineup of uh, Davao Occidental Tigers. And you normally don't end the period mm. with your starting lineup. And they want to finish strong here. Want to protect that lead as well. They'll have the, the entire half time to rest. Oh. Shot clock down to four seconds. 
No basket. Oh! Nagkamali na tapik. Oh. No look pass. Oh, that's gonna be a foot uh, trap. Kaso no look din yung pagtanggap. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gabriel has really played the entire second quarter. Uh, this is probably also their strongest uh, front line with uh, Celada and Gabriel. But, you know, the lead has been up to 12. No solution so far. But, this you know, to their credit, neither team has really been fouling mm. a lot despite being in the penalty in the last couple of minutes. Oh, that... Oh. And... That's the, gonna be number three on Sarit, partner. The broadcaster's curse, partner. Pag may binanggit ka, nangyayari, ano? <laughs> Oo. Oh, the... Huwag na nating pag-usapan yung overtime. Mm-hmm. No, no, not baka, yet. Baka, baka ipauso na naman natin. No, that, that, that's the risk of bringing back Sarit in the second period. Nagpalit nga siya ng bantay. At wala si pa siyang naiaambag mm. tong uh, quarter na to. And of course, our... our uh, Commissioner Alan K. Dick in the middle and our operations uh, head Steph Farley in the on the left of your screen. 53-39 na po ang ating score. Oh, Sarit will continue to oh, play. No, only 34 seconds. They hope he doesn't get another foul. Again, partner, you know, the attention was brought to the big men yes. as the small guy scores for the Kings. Ayon, ang gagawin dapat ng Davao Occidental ay ubusin ng oras para di na makakuha ng bola ang uh, Alpha Omega Kings. Good close out there. Celada has been quiet the past few minutes. So at the end of two fast-paced quarters, our score is the Tava Occidental Tigers Coco Life 53, the Alpha Omega Kings 41. We'll be back with all our halftime stats and stuff. This is Filipina Super League. Go, go, go. 
We want to thank you for supporting PSL. We want to thank everyone uh, for showing your support. I want to express my gratitude to the players, coaches, and staff who have dedicated themselves to make this league what it is today. And I am committed to ensuring that this season is one for the history books. to declare PSL President's Cup 2024 open. ang bakbakan dito lang yan sa Pilipinas Super League and we are currently in our halftime of the game with a score of 53-41 in favor of Davao Occidental Tigers. I'm Andrea Veloso, your courtside reporter together with the team manager of both teams, Sir Arvin Bonleon for Davao Occidental Tigers and Sir John R. Silva for Alpha Omega Kings. So unahin ko po muna itong si Sir Arvin. So Sir Arvin, your team is composed of many pro players pero para sa iyo Sir Arvin, ano ba yung pinaka-challenge na maaharap nyo dito sa season at paano nyo Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, siguro ang pinaka-challenge sa amin dahil sa original team namin, si Bonbon Custodio na natira, halos lahat bago. So, bagong sistema kami, tsaka composed ng mga bata at tsaka veterano. Siguro kailangan na mag-gel from one game at a time lang kami. Okay, good luck po sa journey nyo dito sa PSL. Meron ka bang gustong pasalamatan o ba tiyan, Sir Arvin? Uh, una una uh, binabati ko ang family ko, my wife, my two kids, ang taga Davao Occidental, ang Santa Maria Davao Occidental, Davao City at sa lahat ng Davao Region at lahat ng sumusuporta ng PSL, uh, lagi niyo kami suportahan. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, sir, and good luck po for the game. Dito naman po tayo kay Sir John Arso, sir. Nauunahan kayo nitong uh, Davao this first half. Paano ba kayo makakahabos sa susunod na quarters? Uh, Siguro, uh, mas kailangan namin ng better defense. Siyempre, alam naman natin yung Davao Occidental is champion team yan. So, mas kailangan pa namin maganda this third quarter and fourth quarter. So, Good luck po, sir. Meron ka bang gustong pasalamatan o ba, Tien? Uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa amin sa AO Kings, pati sa mga Bulacan, and sa family and friends ko. Yeah. Thank you so much, both team manager. Good luck po for the game at magbabalik po ang Pilipinas Super League for more ball game updates. Ay, alam mo naman ako kasi, ayaw ko nang may naaape. Trabaho ko, tagapagpanggol ng mga inape, inabuso. Nakikipagsubukan ko ulit. Matigas ka pa rin sa so nakikita ko. Okay. Nagsisisi ka dahil nahuli ka. Okay, dahil sa nahuli ka, dahil sa nahuli ka, inaisahan ka namin. Pag kayo po, ipinabitag. Ang bawat kasamaan may hangganan. Sa mga Zuki ho natin, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, free TV ho tayo, IBC TV. 13. Kabalik at mo sa lahat ng suliranin. Pero ma'am, parang ang nangyari, pinakage din mo sila. That is assumption, presumption, doubt, suspicion. Kasangga ng mga walang boses at naaapi. Ang taong bayan, pinasisilbihan. Hindi po ang taong bayan ang maninilbihan sa inyo. Matapang, mabusisi, diskusyong walang paligoy-ligoy. Kasama ang nag-iisang Ben Tulfo sa pagbibigay ng serbisyong Tatang Tulfo. Ang totoo ay mga Tulfo madaling lapitan. Hashtag ipabitag mo. Lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 10.30 ng umaga sa IBC 13. 
mga batas na sinusuri, binubusisi sa House of Representatives at Senado, bantayan po natin tuwing linggo, 10 o'clock in the morning, sa programa Ito ang Kongreso. Ay, salamat po sa mga sumusuporta sa programa Ito ang Kongreso. Kami po sa Senado, lalo-lalo kami sa uh, Blue Ribbon Committee, ginagawa po namin yung dapat gawin. At uh, nakikita nyo naman siguro sa, sa output namin, kahit kakaunti lang kami dito, eh, talagang uh, kayod, kayod kami sa para mait matupad yung tukulin. Kahit po sa Committee on Justice, yung hearing namin ay eh, sa bilibid daw mismo. Hindi po dito sa comforts ng Senate, dun mismo, dun mismo ako nagihiring sa sa maximum security compound kasama po yung mga preso. Ito ang Kongreso Sunday 10 a.m. on IBC 13. Our halftime tally is 53-41. Yan po ang score natin. Ngayong kalagitnaanan laro, Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life leading by 12. And let's check out some of the highlights, partner. Well, June Manso, he's really taken care of that ball plus the fact that he's also scoring from the outside, opening a lot of opportunities for the Tigers. Meanwhile, Gabriel was simply sensational on the part of the uh, the Kings, bringing up the, the points when they needed it in the second uh, quarter in particular. And this guy surprised me a lot. Kurt Tujera, he's the second best scorer in the team after two quarters. And here's a deep outplay, very typical. The turnovers committed by uh, the Kings, 13 of them in the first half, netting them about what, 17 points uh, from those turnovers. Is it just a question of Davao Occidental having more experience at this level as a team? Well, I think no. From the from the interview that we got, only one holdover players, and yet they were performing a very controlled yes. basketball, only committing five turnovers. As you look at the field goal shooting for both teams comparatively, better shooting from Davao Occidental, seven steals to one. Uh, that's the experience in the talent build, really coming into the fold here. And then uh, 22 to 18 in terms of points in the paint. Kung alam niyo kung sino si Pip, baka kasi kailangan i-clear out natin. And fast break points, 11 to 3. That's one big advantage. They're running. And uh, top scorers, Bill Manso, leading Davao Occidental, Celada. Nine points to very limited minutes in the first half. And if you look at the uh, Custodio, all of that was in the first quarter. Because yes. it's yeah. in the second quarter, right? Yep. When there was an adjustment, uh, Saret uh, was moved to guarding Manso. And then uh, Nabong, two three-point shots. Gabriel, on the other hand, we talked about him bringing up the points when uh, Celada sat, sat down for the, the, the Kings. But quite deep, no? Isa lang ang naiwan. Pero oh. yung in-depth ng lineup, Bill, very impressive Tama. for the Occidental Tigers of Davao. And, you know, as, as uh, pointed out uh, in our halftime interviews, championship caliber itong, uh, ano, itong uh, Davao Occidental at ang uh, ating, presidente. ating uh, presidente, Chris. Sir Chris is in the, at the court side. Together with uh, Cobb Alan. I have to get used to calling Alan Commissioner. Why do you call him Hoy? No, that's the trigger man. Alam natin, we call him the trigger man uh, for, for more than a decade. Yes, the, the greatest shooter personally I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, De Leon has experimented with a three-point shot. 53-41 yep. is our score once again. Third quarter underway. You were watching the games of the PSL. President's Cup 2024, Bill Velasco here with Randy Sakdalan coming to you from the Paco Arena. That is traveling. He lifted his pivot foot before the ball hit the floor. Malinis na tawag po yan. You know, it's quite interesting, Bill, looking at the starting lineup of... Uh, here is the traveling committed by Celada. Pero yung lima ng uh, Davao Tigers, ito yung second unit niya. That oh. really gave them the push in the second quarter. Pero napansin mo, partner, sa larong ito, maraming player din na sala sa init, sala sa lamig, mm -hmm. you know? Bumubugan na apoy, tapos biglang mawawala. Celada uh, started the game very yep. strong. And then, missing out. Kasi matagal rin ang upo si Celada. I think he, he, he cooled off in that period. Oh. The Kings trying to get more points in the paint. 
they uh, did almost keep in step with the Tigers. So Gabriel sees that uh, opening. Ang hirap pag binigyan ka ng distansya oh. ng bantay mo. Parang oh. ititira ko ba o hindi? <laughs> no? The uh, Steph Curry syndrome. Long oh, bomb. Big. That one will go. Oh. That's really trouble, partner. No? On the guard matchup, lunod na lunod yung, ano, eh. yung Kings in the way the guards have been opening things yes. for, oh. for the Occidental Tigers. Si Manso, Metres, and then Nabo also. And now you have Costello. Well, simply up. put, the Davao guards are a threat. Mm -hmm. Pag dinikitan mo, sasaksakan ka. Oh. Pag hindi mo dinikitan, titirahan ka sa labas. You're really in a dilemma. <laughs> well, Leon will be charged, or rather, De Leon will be charged with another personal foul. His second. And Batak. Completes it. The lead is down to 12. Down, parang laki kasi. No? Parang, parang ramdam natin na may comeback na mm -hmm. nakaumang na itong uh, Alpha Omega Kings. Open three. In and out. De Leon. Overshooting yep. the mark. Malakas yung pulso. Mm -hmm. oh. Ayun. Naiwan ang bukas. Kaso hindi pumasok ang layup. Good offensive board there. Oh, he's gonna be keep more it? There. Oh, there should be a foul there somewhere. Someone was kneeling on someone's head. Yep, uh, the foot of Costello hitting the face of a king in that play. Di maiwasan pero foul pa rin. Mm -hmm. Ito makikita natin talagang yeah, possession arrow points to the to the favor of uh, the Tigers. Tingnan natin dahil yung mga referee. Nasa iba-ibang pwesto pa sa court. Hindi pa nagkakasundo. 7 and 51 to go. Third quarter action. The PSL plays games five days a week. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Through our various broadcast and streaming partners. Oh, great pass, partner. You know, that, that ability of Lujera as a big point guard. Yes. Locating somebody underneath. The lead is a very healthy 14 at this stage. At ngayon, medyo nangangapasa puntos ang AO Kings. Oh. And the Uter Pipe Open lineup for Celada that this team up with Gabriel. Went somewhere without the basketball, sidestep. Mm -hmm. It will stay with the Kings. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Balion is coming in, replacing Matias. Jonathan Balion coming in early here in the third quarter. Nice stutter step, spin move. An offensive recovery. Buti na lang may tagaligpit. Mm -hmm. But almost a made shot. There by uh, Aliano. And Valjon uh, took to the free throw line. Parang hindi mapakali yung mga coach, ano? Na iba yung timpla ng mga team ngayong second half. Uh, iba yung, yung formula nila. Uh, easily for the, for the Kings, they look at the better players uh, who played in the first half in this uh, third period. Coach Dan Kanyeba of uh, the Alpha Omega Kings. And head coach Manuel Inigo II for the Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Life. Given goal was not fulfilled. Olayon. Wow. Na buhay uli, ano? What's a... And it was a, it was a, a well-run play, no? Tama. Open shot for the for the flare corner three-point shot. Hindi pilit eh. Celada didn't have anything for himself. Decided to give it up and wise move. Yep. Batang scoring over Lojera. Okay, now the Kings have shown there's no problem on the offensive end. Mm. Yung defense ang mm. problema ngayon. 
Olayon trying to get two in a row. Yes, yes. he does. Well, he's got the stroke, uh, Bill. Kita mo naman yung yung kasa niya. No? It's, uh, and it's so nice to look at left-handed players. Tama. Similar kay Commissioner. Yes. They've really been working on that post-up play in, inside. Na, capitalizing na, on the small Nakakapan ni bago partner kasi yung mga maliliit na player ang nambabraso sa mm -hmm. loob. Yung malalaki ang tumitira sa labas. Well, Costello knew he's not going to make that shot. Here's a run. Ito na. Before the defense can set, they get a foul. Mm -hmm. That will be the third already for the Tigers. The Kings are still clean. <laughs> and Kelly Nabo has to come in and play fireman. June Manso. Gamalinda. What a stroke of uh, <laughs> ingenuity for her. It's hard to be a player. Oh, no? si, it's hard if not a strong, a little stronger. Yes. You know, off the bench here in the second half, Gamalinda and Manso and uh, Nabong. 64-51. The outlet pass almost knocked away. Celada has not been able to create for oh, himself, good, but good recognition there, unselfish Parker. play. Yep. You know, Celada is really looking around. He's not forcing his way through. Nangalahati na ang ating uh, third quarter. Manzo using a screen by Nabong. There's no switch. You know, we haven't really heard much from Postodio nope. since, since the since first, first quarter. quarter. And, well, he's coming in now. Exactly. Makabalu coming in first time for the Kings. You know, when, you, when you think about it, these are very deep benches that we have. And the quality of the guys coming off the bench yes. for, for Davo Occidental. Of That's traveling. traveling. He yep. changed his footing. Mm -hmm. Nasayangan si Custodio dun kasi assist na sana yun. Oh. Eh. So concentration lost there by uh, Kelly Nabong. Medyo nang gigil ng konti. Celada. Still being denied. Really Desperation passes and results in a brewing fast break. Oh. <laughs> Looking for a foul for June Manso. June Kent Manso felt somebody's physical pressure from behind. Celada's drawing a blank mm -hmm. here. Leon Medio Bumilis ng Bumalik sa Defensa. Ang Kings. I had a good idea there to give it to a guarded Gamalinda. <laughs> oh, but look at the presence of Manu. Not okay. eh. mm -hmm. Unless the referee blows the whistle, there's no foul, there's no traveling, nothing. 66-55. And again, oh, the small guy doing the dirty work underneath. But the guy that they gave it to at halftime, depends on the need of the Kings now. There's going to be a push. Well, that's going to be really a tough matchup against uh, Ulayon. He's shifty. He's, he, he, he looks up. Uh, uh, ano pa rin ng, ano, eh, ng, ng, ng magkiklik na five itong uh, Kings, both on the defensive and offensive end. So, hindi sila makakuha ng sunod-sunod na stops to score uh, here and, and bring down this double-digit advantage. Bad pass. Hindi po kami kasali. One of the few turnovers committed by uh, the Tigers. Mind committing only five in the first quarter for a team that has been yes. assembled, made up of one holdover, and the rest are newcomers. That's also a testament to coaching mm -hmm. when you think about it. Yes. Open three from the corner, off the rim and out. Whoa, he's just playing really smart. Woo! Manzo is having a field day today. 69-55. Yep. Approaching the three-minute mark. Dito po sa ating third quarter. Oh, Doligon just... Uh... Si Doligon yung classic na nananagasa mm -hmm. na lang. Ano? Pero mm -hmm. hindi naman napipituhan ng offensive foul. It's a three-point shot by Junjun Manso. Well, he's just taking things, you know, 
taking control of the offense of uh, Tigers. Sumampong coming into the game for the AO Kings. But you want it down. Frustrating third quarter for him. got to like the way Doligon is approaching this game, not yes. giving up, not getting intimidated at all. Pero problema ngayon ng AO Kings, kailangan pang pababain ng konti itong lamang ng mm -hmm. Tigers para madali nang habulin sa fourth quarter. Kaso matibay din itong uh, Dava Occidental. Doligon kicking it out. Momentum, air ball, nabong, clearing, quick outlet. Fast break in the making. Let's see. One against five. Four. No. Oh. And wisely, they, they moved that ball back. Inasinta. Niluwa. Oh. Good, uh, good stroke, really, for a lion. And you have to take those shots. You're open. Coming up on the last two minutes of the third quarter. Parang bumibilis ang oras pag ikaw yung naghahabol. Doligon trying to get a momentum inside. Too crowded. Shot clock down to four seconds. Well, Turnover. Hit. Another fast break happening. Two on none. 71-56. The Alpha Omega Kings need this timeout. We shall return. Si Ben Tulfo sa hashtag ipabit pag mo. Mahilig sumayo ba tong prompter natin? Sus Mario Sep. Oo, oh, hindi ako nakikipag-discussion sa'yo. Ikaw may problema ka. Sige-sige. Oh, so, so, sabi, hindi marunong madala. Mamamatay tao pa. Kumuna ang proseso, ha? Kaya mainit ang ulo. Wala man ng uh, abiso. Iisa-isahin ko kayo. Manoore, bitag live at hashtag ipabitag mo. Alas 8 ng umaga at alas 10.30 ng umaga. Lunes hanggang biyernes Adios Sa IBC 13 A lot of heroes in this game And you're looking at one of them Manzo Delivering big time For the Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Live The Alpha Omega Kings Have less than two minutes To trim more of this lead down To a manageable bite size Maybe seven, eight points partner In the penalty Are the Tigers so that's an opportunity really for Tama. the Kings to push that ball inside. Tama. But indeed, they've been taking shots from the outside, not really taking advantage, except for the Ligon. They need to recognize the opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's only their second team foul for the for the Kings. And si Custodio, I think, na naiinip na rin eh. Uh, si Silada binalik, mm -hmm. Pahiyang lang, no? Pinaupo sandali. Oh. Pampalis malas. Oh, because he couldn't buy that basket here in the third quarter yes. to si Celada. They, they recognize what kind of a player he can, he can really be on the floor. They sprayed out and left nobody under the offensive glass. Celada giving it up. They'll try to make himself open. Oh, that's a nudge by Custodio from behind. Huling huli, no? Kasi biglang na iba yung footing ni Celade. Who knows? This may be what he needs to get his offense going again. Oh, yung free throws. We've seen that time and again, Bill. It's a konting kumpiansa lang. One more thing we haven't discussed, partners, that some players play well on television, some don't. Iba kasi kinakabahan. Oo. Iba naman, they're excited and then they put up with really the best shows. Well, Salada missed on his first free throw. So, confidence? Medyo nayanig ng konti ang uh, kumpiyansa mm -hmm. ni Adrian Salada. One minute and 14 seconds to go. As Randy pointed out, the Kings have not been able to really exploit the penalty situation. Kasi yung Tigers, mga apat na minuto ng penalty. 
Pero konti pa lang napipigang free throw ng Kings. <laughs> Look at Custodio just gingerly taking that shot. Oh, keeping the ball alive si Bam Bam. Oh, but Lujero loses it, partner. There is a good chance for Celada. Ayun, baka bumalik na. Baka sumilap na yung uh, opensa. And here. Oh. Is it a turnover? It's a turnover, partner. And this is what you pointed out. You know, you bring it down to a more manageable yes. closing out the third period. Gaya nito, labing isa. Pag nakashoot ang Kings dito, siyam na lang. Yes, o baka walo. All, all they want is to be within striking distance. A couple of stops away. Oh, they let it take a three-point shot. <laughs> Pero na bawi naman ng AO Kings. Celada going in strong. Reverse is short. Na ilang siya kay Nabong. Tavao had the fast break. Somebody holding somebody down. Can we foul on the league one? Let's see if the basket counts. No basket. No basket. They say that the foul was uh, committed prior to the shot. No continuation. Eh, hindi, hindi directang na shoot yung bola. Eh. Hindi, hindi single motion oh. from the arm lock that was given by Tony Kwan. Ang to arm one lock. One. Wrestling na yun, partner. <laughs> I, I Pero the... panigurado lang, no? Oh. Para hindi ma-shoot. Final seconds of the third quarter. Hinayaan yeah. lang, binan na yeah. You know, Bond was really wanting that shot in. It was poor deep of the Paisalada. And all their hard work has gone to waste because the lead is back up to 14. Frustrating times for the Kings. Here's Doligon oh. running into a wall named Nabong, and Nabong is whistled for the foul. Yung dapat pa nilang ginagawa eh. Ang problema kasi, nakatagilid si Nabong oh. tapos gumalaw, no? First of all, he was not flat Correct. facing the, that, that's the clear. offensive player, no? Morning, Seventy four to sixty. Tama ba part na lang. Oh, exactly. Uh, remaining the third period. The Ligon is trying to keep the team's hopes of a major comeback alive. We haven't really seen them string together mm -hmm. that many points. Yep. First, first the stop that they needed yes. uh, and to happen, and then offensively consistency. Because the steals and turnover points, na mga na mga tapok si Dental no first half. It continues here in the third period, yes. Bill. So this is like a catch and shoot situation. So they didn't bother to shoot. So 74-61 is our tally at the end of three quarters. We'll be back with the payoff period. This is the PSL President's Cup. All right, you are looking at the uh, the ladies you will see in the future and the gentlemen who are working hard behind the scenes. Marami po tayo pang ilalabas ng mga bagong mukha. June Manson, look at this. Ooh, 16 points. And the technical was just a uh, slap on the Tigers. Mm -hmm. I think they're still unhappy about that foul called against Nabong to end the uh, third quarter. But they're up by 13. So you got a lot to be happy about. Mm -hmm. And so far, the Kings, as a new team, have not really had the coordination yet to rally. They need a partner. And they still have enough time. Ten minutes is a lot of time in basketball. As our old friend Joe Cantado used to say, an eternity of it. And, uh, you know, for the Kings, it was very formidable that they're facing the Davao Occidental Tigers in their first game. Yes. Parang na, na, na sabak kagad sa malakas, no? Oh. 
five fouls on uh, Kelly Nabong. Yun ang masakit, partner, because mm. in FIBA rules, a technical foul counts as a personal okay. foul. Yes. And you're only allowed five, so naging doble ang problema ngayon ng uh, Dava Occidental. Well, he's played uh, a vital role oh, yes. in this first game. Two three-point shots made in the first quarter. More so on the defensive end. He sees it was a stone wall. Getting shots uh, bothered. So to start the fourth quarter, there will be a little free throw. You know, if that's his fifth foul, then he's out of the game. Yes. And the technical free throw uh, slices a little bit of this lead. Plus uh, ball possession to begin the fourth for yes. the Kings. So this is an opportunity. Yes. That they should take advantage. Uh, Pampa Buelo, no? 74-62 mm -hmm. as we enter the fourth quarter. Kick out. Celada started to get his game going. Medyo pilipit yung tira. Mm -hmm. Manzo, change of pace, double teamed in the corner. They enforce him to give it up. They're forcing the ball inside. And ito, Silada, nakabuelo na. Pabayaan mo na lang. Yep. So, he's so the lead is down 10. Mm -hmm. Down to 10. Yep. Considerable, yeah, the bill. And this is probably what they were... And look at the defensive stance. They're now pressuring the yes. ball carrier. Trying to trap them on the corner. De Leon. He's also been quiet. Shot clock down to seven seconds. Mazo has got to find somebody open. And let's see who is. That's a foul. Well, they moved the ball well from the strong yes. side to the weak side. Hindi na naka-adjust. And Lohera just found that opening. Ang ganda ng ikot ng bola, no? Um, see, the, see the experience, really, of the, these players. They were not rushing. They know that they've got five, six seconds. Yes. Mahaba pa yun. Balion with the foul. Well, he's played a good game for for the Tigers. Yes. For his debut game, Kurt Luhera. Well, this I think this is really the luxury you have Custodio, Luhera, and Manso, who could tend the backcourt for the Tigers. Ang laking bagay niya pag may defensive pressure. Mm -hmm. oh, but two missed free throws by Kurt yes. Luhera. Is the tide starting to turn in favor of the Alpha Omega Kings? Mahaba pa ang oras. Celada. With the defense in his face, he shoots an air ball. They get the oh! ball back. Oh! You know, Kosonyo was unable to handle that rebound. And so, going with an opportunity for the Kings. Ito, ang tanong dyan kung matataranta yung Tigers. And yes, they did. Walo na lang po ang lamang ng Davao Occidental. Six straight points unanswered by uh, the Tigers. Here is that move by Manso. Looking for a foul. None was called. At medyo iika-ika ngayon si Manso pa palabas ng court. We were a little jolted by that move of his. He was anticipating a call. Hindi pumito. There was no foul called. It was just a let go. Oh, that's big. That is so big, Bill. That is a huge three-pointer that brings them to within five. And, and a turnover could make it even less. Celada with another three. This one's off the mark. Traveling forced oh, no. by the double team. He was trapped against the baseline. But the ball pressure really put up defensively by uh, the Kings here in the fourth quarter. Yan ang hindi natin nakikita. Mm. Ngayon na lang nila in-employ effectively, especially if you take it to the sideline or the baseline, itatrap ka nila. Look, oh, naiipit ka. And nowhere to go for you. <laughs> Finally! Oh! oh, wow! It is down to a two-point game. The Davao Occidental Tigers were leading by huge numbers. That's just down to a bucket. We have a timeout.
would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, to be interviewed, of course. And uh, I hope you keep on watching. Lagi kayo manood ng ito ang Kongreso. Para malaman ninyo kung ano po nangyayari sa ating bansa at para malaman niyo kung anong ginagawa ng inyong mga congressman at ng mga senador. Maraming salamat. Ito ang Kongreso, Sunday, 10 a.m. on IBC 13. As a new team here in the PSL coach, DMC of Alpha Omega King said that they're still in their adjustment period. At that's the stage pa sila ng pagpapakilala sa isa't isa dahil nga may mga batang players na pinasok sa kuponan ito tulad nila Batak, Salo, Cervantes at Sumangkong na pare-parehas na Bulacan homegrowns. Para nga kay team manager Jonar na nagpasok sa mga batang players na ito sa Alpha Omega Kings project player nila ang 23-year-old na si Warlo Batak this season because they trust the huge upside of this young player. So far, Batak produced 10 points. Madadagdagan pa kaya ito ngayong last quarter. Villain Randy. All right, now the Kings have dramatically taken the lead with a three-point shot. Is this their first lead of the game, partner? Yes, it's a 14 to nothing run to start the fourth period. And oh, it's still my! 78 to 74 now. What has happened to Daba Occidental, partner? You know, they're just more aggressive defensively. They, they work hard. And the point that you raise you now, could have been a game changer really on that technical foul on Nabong to start the fourth quarter. It's kind of kind of fired them up when they shot their shots were falling. Lucky complacent eh, uh, the Davao Occidental Tigers. But the, all of a sudden the three-point shots were falling in. You know, this guy, Andrian Celada, he's kept them. He's the constant guy. Yes. For the Kings here in the second half. Third quarter, medyo inaalat pa na mamasa na lang, no? Yep. But here. Uh, big point forward delay. Now let's see who will step up in a leadership role now for Dava Occidental. Kapos, Tinapik, oh. good put back. Yep, the big men, Gamalinda and Ongtengo. Gamalinda kept the ball alive, Ongtengo for the cleanup. The Kings have outscored the Tigers 17 to 2. And if you're wondering where all that came from, it came from everywhere. <laughs> A different angles, particularly from the three-point area. You know, in a little over two minutes, they were able to bring down the lead to two. And the Kings have taken a two-point advantage. Ambilis, ambilis na nangyari yun. Diba? Nung bandang huli pa ng third quarter, parang lumaki uli yung lamang eh. Oh, the fireman in Olayon. Tying Olayon has been sporadically dousing the spirits of the Kings. The Alpha Omega Kings, new team or not, they're putting up a fight. They're keeping even with a championship caliber squad. Oh, oh Gabriel. Butter ungainly in that uh, play. Excellent foul, but now Dub Occidental is crying for an unsportsmanlike like foul. It's a football and tawag yun, offside, mm -hmm. di ba? But anything to prevent the, the Tigers break. from getting momentum. Ito, sayang na pagkakataon nito, partner. Ito na yung foul. Uh, uh, they were saying that, you know, the shirt was held on uh, by the Kings. It should have been a uh, Hindi lang like sundot, ano, oh. partner. Not kasi nakalampas sa kanya. Eh. Yes. So there's no way for him to retrieve that basketball from behind as they were scooting down court. The Davao Occidental Tigers. Here it is again, Bill. Na, na bitawan yung bola. Mm -hmm. But you know, nothing intentional or harmful from our, our perspective. Oh. So it's just a regular foul. De Leon asking wala pong free throw. Hindi ka naman tumitira sa backcourt. 78 all Bill Velasco with Randy Sakdalan bringing you some really intense second day action 
from the PSL. Wow. Trying to get a foul, doesn't matter. He got the bucket anyway. So he could be the answer, Bill, that you were yes. asking. Would Costello fit in the big shoes of June Manso here in the fourth? Ryan Costello doing a good uh, job of holding the Kings at bay. Ngayon, medyo nakakasolohan mm -hmm. ang AO Kings. Yes. A foul was called against Costello. Of the Davao Occidental Tigers, there's the bump. Well, Costello made that shot in that uh, slow-mo play. Davao has now replied with six straight points. That Keeps them on top, but just by two. Oh, look at Custodio. Oh, oh, no. To the wrong man, Gabriel. He did everything right. He was even facing towards where he was going to pass. But Gabriel happened to be in the perfect spot. Oh, huge bone-crushing screen in the backcourt by De Leon. Oh. oh, everything but the shot. Everything but the basket. But there is no degree of difficulty in basketball. <laughs> We are tied at 80, and who would have thought, Randy? What a game we're watching here, Bill. And it's just become so intense. And it's at a... Uh, bombing. Bombing the ball. Bombing the ball. That's going to hurt. Nabibitin yung bola yun. Nasa ilalim na yung kamay, no? The, you can dribble even up to the point that your hand is perpendicular to the floor. Oh, uh, what a steal! There's going to be a yes. easy bucket here, and the Kings back in the lead. Four minutes, 18 seconds remaining. What a game! You know, war has been declared really here in the fourth period. Very fierce competition. And now the Kings have found again, their confidence again. in their defense. That double teaming. Somebody's finally open. Yes! Wow. Olayon to Gamalinda. 83-82. We have a seesaw game. Walang kukurap. Both teams finding an overabundance of heroes. Another three-pointer from Celada. Luckily, they get the ball back. Corkscrew oh. shot off the rim and out. Well, look at Gabriel Canina Carter. Parin. You know, just, just hanging around. Gabriel Canina was able to telegraph the pass, get the ball, and now two points for him. He has played gargantuan minutes mm -hmm. in this game as well. Well, he and uh, Celada, they, they put up decent numbers, yes. and the guards putting on the, the fire from the backcourt. Forcing the shot despite the contact. The Kings trying to build on this lead. Their biggest lead of the game is what? Two, three, three points. points. Four points here in the Four points, here yes. in the fourth. Under three minutes to go. Gabriel again in oh, the easy. right place. You know, easy basket for Gabriel. Tolikon really playing decoy there, and then Gabriel anticipating the pass back to him. What a swing wow. this game has had. And the Tigers, Gamalinda, five points here in the fourth quarter. You're talking about players with championship experience mm -hmm. at both the collegiate and professional level. So he's really very composed. He's showing a lot of composure here for Bamba. The league on for three. Oh. Gabriel almost had that uh, offensive recovery. Manso, <laughs> aching joints and all, is back on the court. 86-85, the AO Kings in the lead. And the Kings are asking to review that last situation because it could result in them getting the ball back. Uh, here is the shot of uh, Doliguan. It's going to be a loose ball. And daming dinaan ng kamay, you know? And Gabriel was saying it was last touch by uh, the Tigers. She Costello from another angle, Bill. Let's take a look at this.
Ikaw yung nakasalamin, partner. Ano, na, ano sa tingin mo? I think it's really close between the, the hands of Costello after that sila the top, or rather Gabriel top. Tingnan mo yung, yung, yung kamay dyan, yung bola, and there's... That's at Celada, or rather Gabriel. And then will it hit Costello? In, parang hindi. Yun yun eh. Kung, kung may ba yung trajectory papunta sa posisyon, referees called it Tigers ball yes. after the review. So the call sticks. Tigers with a chance to take the lead back. Lojera back on the court now for Dub Occidental Tigers Coco Life. 86-85. 2 minutes, 18 seconds. Another heart stopper after our opening day game. Mm. Isa pa yun, ano, partner? Oh, Manila uh, and Kainta. One point uh, victory there for Manila after trailing most of the way. This is what separates the men from the boys. Dab Occidental gets it oh. back. They lose it. This is where you need experience. Yes. Yeah, and, and give it to Celada for the AO Kings. What an opening game for them. Nice little pump fake, but mm -hmm. the shot is short. Now, Mansos brought back into the game. The general, they need somebody to really direct play for the offense of uh, the Tigers. They kick it out. With oh, hands in his shot. face. Gabriel there whistled for a push after the basket. Mm -hmm. A lot of emotion in this game, and mm -hmm. it is just the first <laughs> game of these two teams. Sayang, no? They Kasi each have 16 games to go. <laughs> and they won't be facing each other again. That's They'll true. see each other in the semifinals or in the finals. Tsaka na magbawian. Well, let's see the play inside. Between Manso and Gabriel. Oh! Was there a swing on the part of Gabriel? You have to see what kind of extra motions mm -hmm. there were before you can decide anything. Mm -hmm. Tigers up by a hair. A minute and 18 seconds ago, neither team in the penalty miraculously. <laughs> Kenny Nabong, of course, out of the game after getting his fourth foul and then a technical. And that was still at the end of the third quarter. There are very few games that I've seen that this close, both teams not in the penalty. Yes. So which team would be able to capitalize and maximize that situation would certainly have that, that edge a minute and 18. But this is going to be an interesting call by the referees to be made, Bill. And we're talking about what? Maybe... Four possessions left in this game. This was a 13-point lead when we started the fourth quarter, yes. Bill. You know, Alpha Omega able to grab that lead on a 12-2 to two run in a little over two minutes to start the fourth. I think it was 16-2. to 17-2, actually, yes. uh, up to the fourth minute, I yes. think, of the fourth quarter. Coming up with a four-point lead, the biggest for Alpha Omega. Tapos, naka-anim na sunod na punto sa Manitong Davao Occidental. They were able to take it back, the lead. Uh, by a point, Olayon was in the middle of that. Gamalinda, you know, those five points that scored a three-point shot and that uh, under goal stab kept uh, the Tigers in the ballgame because the Kings really had the momentum. Uh, we were able to cut that lead, take uh, of the, the Tigers, and then now uh, let, let's wait for this bill. What will be the call? Yeah, let's find out if because if there is a technical on Gabriel for an extra Good motion, motion, that's two free throws and possession for the Tigers, and they're up by one. Oh, double foul! It's a double foul. Okay, that cancels each other out. That's a tough call to make for the referees. Oh, yes. You know, it's, uh, and you know, the, there was no advantage to the Kings because the basket had already been scored. Yes. And but it puts the Kings one foul away from penalty. Yep. 
which may be a factor in the coming minute and 18 seconds. Now, who will the Kings go to? Look at the There's a bump. Okay, that, that's, not it, uh, that's not a penalty foul given by uh, Manso. Only the 14 foul. Wait a minute. There are, there are five team fouls now credited to the Kings. Mm -hmm. So they're in the penalty. That's for the Kings. The Tigers. The Tigers four. just got their fourth four. foul. It resets the clock to 14 because we are in the front court. The mm -hmm. on. Will he take this straight to the hole? There's a switch. Goes up. Whoa! De Leon not wanting to risk another foul. So just letting it go, but the, the right idea for Doliguan taking it strong. Look 88 87, the Kings up by one. We have a timeout. We'll catch our breath. See you in a minute. Ating mga viewers sa araw na ito, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong suporta sa ating mga senador. Uh, makakaasa po kayo na ang ating mga senador po ay nagtatrabaho para sa ikabubuti ng ating bansa at kami po sa Senate Spouses Foundation ay lagi nandito para magsuporta rin sa kanila at magbigay to give back to our country. So, may God bless us all. Mabuhay po ang Pilipinas. Ito ang Kongreso, Sunday, 10 a.m. on IBC 13. All right, 88-87. Sineswerte talaga ang Kings ngayong uh, fourth mm -hmm. quarter, but they've also worked hard to get lucky. Yes. That big, big streak. We were talking about how they weren't able to rally but all of a sudden they rattled off mm -hmm. 17 to 2 and now the question is who's got the the heart to take the big shots here oh this shot Gohera was anticipating a call after he was bumped what was a let go situation and now time is on the side of the Alpha Omega Kings they're up by one the league on Alamong malakas oh! sa loob. Oh, he was passing to no one in particular. Manso has been a hero in this game. Diving into the defense. Oh! It's off the iron. Final 18 seconds. Will they foul? They, they don't get... even need to shoot unless Davao Occidental fouls. Oh, they're not fouling. Finally. There's a foul, but that is only their fifth team foul. foul. But or is it? Uh, yeah, that's two free throws. Two free throws, na ba? Yes. Okay, penalty, penalty na po. But that's the only way that the Davao Tigers could get the ball back. Yes. Could have been the big time shot there for Banzo. Now the question is, what kind of shot the Davao Occidental Tigers will need after these free throws? If he makes both, they need a three. Oh, he oh, no. the first. So, at most, it's going to be a two-point game for the if AOP. He makes the second if he one. makes otherwise. Otherwise, Davao can just take it strong from to the, the basket and get a foul. There's no pressure to take uh, a three-point shot from them. He oh, misses both. both! Now Davao has to hurry. Gamalinda decides to double oh, clutch. Short. Defense from behind. There's a foul at the buzzer. Buster. And believe it or not, the A.O. Kings, the Alpha Ooh. Omega Kings, come back from huge double-digit deficits to steal a victory over the Davo Occidental Tigers Coco Life in the fourth quarter. Wow. Woo! Call it a miracle game for the AO Kings. Just like old times, partner. 88-87 <laughs> is our final score. Zero. So I guess that means the, the final foul called was after the buzzer. After. No free throw. This is final score, yes. You know, Gabriel, he played solidly, uh, particularly in the second period uh, in this game. Then the guards of uh, 
to Ligon in, in oh, particular. Yeah. He was able oh, yeah. to grab the lead for them. He kept them going in yes. the third quarter. And you know that, that attitude of taking it strong to the hoop, not giving up. The fearlessness. Yeah. For the double Occidental Tigers, they had the game 75%. They were very much in control. You know. But come the fourth quarter, they went dry. Yes. They gave up a 17 to 2 right. run. Suddenly found themselves Seven. themselves staring up at the Alpha Omega Kings. Partner, well, I believe we have a post-game award to give out. Yes, to the best player. And no no question about how he was able to keep his composure in this ball game from the beginning. And even when things weren't going yes. well, he never got discouraged. Mm. Tried to help his other teammates yes. instead. Then the fire came back in the fourth quarter. He knew that his game would, would, would come to him if they play good ball. And we are talking about? Okay, Andre and Celada, partner. Wow. It's, uh... And uh, I believe he's with uh, Andrea yeah. Veloso now at uh, the court. Medyo siguro hinihingal pa. So, Andrea? Magaliga, our best player of the game, Adrian Salada from the Alpha Omega Kings, finishing with 19 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists. So, grabe yung performance yung this fourth quarter. Talagang hinabol niyo yung scores. So, paano niyo ba tuluyang uh, na-overcome itong uh, challenge na binigay ng Davao? Uh, ginawa lang namin yung game plan namin. Uh, saka, underdog kami sa laban ngayon. Eh. So, nating tulos kami. So, uh, sabi lang ng management sa amin na uh, laro lang namin ng maayos. Uh, ayun, binigay naman sa amin. Congratulations again. Meron ko bang gusto ko pasalamatan ng batian? Uh, binabati ko uh, yung mga management na ano, tumutulong sa amin. Uh, kay Master John R. Silva, uh, kay, sa Pegasus, ka, kay Boss Anton, uh, kay Boss Doc, uh, saka sa wife ko na nasa Baguio. Uh, malamang nanonood ngayon yun. Saka sa mga anak ko. Uh, thank you. Congratulations, Andrian, and of course, the Alpha Omega Kings. And now we have your Bill and Randy to officially close this matchup. All right, the final score once again, 88-87. The Alpha Omega Kings with a spectacular comeback despite great efforts by Bonbon bon Custodio, Kelly Nabong. Uh, practically an, an all-star squad mm -hmm. that they played against, and this is their first game. And this will really, you know, give them a lot of encouragement yes. going into their next assignments. Nakapuwing sila ng higante. Malaki yung nakapuwing nila, and Celada kept it cool. Yes. All, all throughout the game, he was trusting his teammates. Led by example. Mm -hmm. you know, what, a, what a fantastic way to really start this great weekend mm -hmm. of ours, partner. A lot of, a lot of action so far. We've seen six of the 18 teams that are going to be playing. And as usual, partner, I give you the parting shot. Well, it's a big game, no? Andrea Celada, and I, I think that's what PSL is discovering. New players in the, in the professional league coming up with a with a ball game that's truly memorable and Andrea Celada she should be a byword now it's a household name now in PSL Andrea Celada keep that in mind and this is just the beginning ladies and gentlemen maraming 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 action pa ang inyong dapat abangan tuwing lunes martes miyerkules viernes at sabado dito po sa IBC 13 with the games are televised every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, on the, and on the other days, they're shown through our various online broadcast partners. On behalf of Andrea Veloso and my partner, Randy Sakdala and Bill Velasco po, maraming salamat. We'll see you next week. This is Filipina Super League President's Cup. <laughs>